trouble eight times now. Your daughter is missing. Yes, my daughter, Manra. How many times do I need to say it? You sent word about a lead, said that I should come see you about it. Of course, madam. Let me just... <sighs> Forgive me, why are you here? Is this some kind of sick joke? Do you have any idea what I've been through these past few days? Yes, her name is Vanra. This stupid, useless fist said she had a lead, but she must have been stuck in dream mist or something. Madam, tell me. You said... She was... Taken from a tavern? You catch the barest tendrils of magic coiled around the flaming fist. Yes. The blushing mermaid down by the docks I told you a hundred times. Why aren't you listening? Someone or something has tampered with her memory. What, um... What were we discussing? What is happening? I feel like I'm going mad! A hag? Preposterous. No such creature would dare set foot in the city. Don't scare me more than I already am. What would a hag want with my Vanra? She's just lost. That's all. What? I'm so afraid. And so tired. I've been looking night and day everywhere I could. I've no family. And Vanra's father isn't around. A flaming fist were my last resort. You will? Thank you. I haven't slept to read since she disappeared. I'm terrified something has happened to her. Her name is Vanra. She's seven years old and has red hair, like me. We were in the Blushing Mermaid when she was taken. Just up by the docks. No, unless you count a couple of old drinking mates at the next table. But they'd be no help. They barely remember their own names. I was sober, though. I swear. I stop in the maid for a drink sometimes. But it was only a quick one. And of course, the front of the house, Boats and Gannett was there, and the owner of the Blushing Mermaids, Captain Grizzly. Neither lifted a finger to help me look. It was awful. Thank you. I'll head home. Can't stumble being around these idiots any longer. Come find me the moment you hear anything. Raven Guard had trained the fish proper. They were catching crooks, not turning a blind eye. Interference with flaming fist property will be dealt with swiftly. The truth is the truth. We trust our readers to make up their own minds. Only Lord Gortash protect us from the world's vengeance. What do I think of Lord Gortash's steel watch? A steel watch, don't well, I am so glad you asked. What can we do? 
Tool will do the trick. door has red text on it reading all are waited all are embraced none shall escape Unless the maid is on fire. <sighs> Can't a captain be bloody hung over in peace? Oh. Why, hello there. Captain Grizzly, at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? Oh, not this claptrap again. Listen. Laura was here, all right? Knocking back pints like there's no tomorrow. But she was alone. I saw head nor ass of this so-called kid. And when we tried to kick her out, she pulled a knife on my front man. Bet she didn't tell you that bit, huh? Not a notion. 
but not a soul has seen this so-called vanner of hers, myself included. Look, I know Laura from my pirating days. She ran with Bart Black Dagger's crew. Heard they tossed her overboard when she gutted the bosun over a game of cards. Now, I'd no beef with her before this. All are welcoming the maid. But threatening my staff, claiming we took her kid, she's bonkers. <laughs> Dangerous. Next time she pulls a knife on me and mine, someone might die. Something has to be done. Gods! Do I have to spell it out for you? There is no child. Laura is mad as a box of frogs. She's dangerous. And I couldn't call myself a captain if I stood by and did nothing. I hate that it's come to this, but I'll pay a hoard of gold to whoever scuppers her, permanently. <laughs> a tough negotiator. I like that. You've got yourself a deal. Return when the deed is done. Look at close the maid. The blushing maid is come. And the heart-stopping bloodsucker. I hope you've changed your mind. My neck is yours any time. And I will keep refusing until the end of time. I'm done bowing to the whims of others. Never say never. Forgive the mess. Your blood is far more volatile than I'd anticipated. It's a breakthrough in the sanguine arts, the likes of which the world has never seen. The Grand Matriarch will have no choice to House of Blodra after I present her with my research. But listen to me, rabbiting on about myself when I have you, the prize bleeder, on my very doorstep. If you'd come inside, we could discuss something far more exciting than drow politics. Yes, that is, do follow me. little spot, isn't it? These four walls have witnessed greater alchemical triumphs than the keep of Erngath Durand. And now that you're here, the crown jewel of my research is soon to be faceted. All you have to do is drink Formula Gruner. If that's her formula I can smell, it's even fouler than her blood. Oof. Cuts below.
When you first entered this home, you saw the incredible latent power within your blood exposed in all its nuances. Formula Gruna will unleash that power within you. Risky, but, um, safe. Say no. The only thing she's offering is pain. And I, I, I don't want to see you hurt. Not even for the betterment of the alchemical arts the realm over. Not even for that. be repurposed. There's a trap. Nasty surprise. Caution. <clears throat> Open up. one later. mean you found my daughter the flaming fish still have no clue useless twats i'm not proud of my past all right i lived a violent life but that all changed when i had banra getting the occasional drink in the blushing mermaid is as close as i get to the old days as for pulling a knife fine i did but they wouldn't let me look for Vanra, and I panicked, all right? How could she say such an awful thing? I... I feel like I'm losing my mind. Vanra is real, damn it! All I want for her is to be home and safe. Please! Why 
Is it done? Has Laura stopped that wailing of hers for good? Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> I wanted you to stain your soul with the blood of an innocent mother. Oh, well, guess I'll just decorate the room with your insides. They'll match my new carpet beautifully. Hello, Petal. Miss me? Marina ran off with the child I was promised because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very tasty. Oh, Petal, she'll thank me for it. <laughs> Vanra sits in my belly. Growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For a while, I'd love to rip your guts out. I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So. Walk away. Walk away and let me a fine hag make. Or what? You'll kill me? Touch me and the girl dies. And I'll simply return. Stronger than ever. A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I'll leave you to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Vanna will suffer. Nature's wrath. I don't fancy their chances.
a finger, your eyeballs! <laughs> Such pre-skin flames. I want them. Blood. 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 Father, shield your servant. Sweeter than rum! Right. Twice the spice!
scent of blood is in the air. shall be defended at any cost. Tempers are rising. It's clear not ever. Not everyone subscribes to what. That was some ruckus. I catch you fighting any more drunks, I'll toss you all outside. Even if they did deserve a clatter. Uh, Red Cap? One of them pointy looking fuckers. You know, I thought I saw it. Ah. Magic tickles your senses. The same you felt around the flaming fist in Basilisk Gate. Someone, or something, has tampered with his memory. Sorry, mate. Only read near as my patrons' faces when they've had a few too many. Take it easy, yeah? <sighs> if you must. Enjoy the blushing mermaid.
That's curious. No doubt about it. This is where the hag must be. Step carefully. Traps. There's a trap. How considerate. Hi. Better be careful not to trigger that.
something over there. These boots have seen everything. First step is the hardest. What did you... Stay down, Vagra!
none shall withstand me. one later.
There is much to do. Let's get going. Sweet girl. I doubt I'll ever sleep again. For fear she'll be smite from under my nose. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. We could go for a walk. Would you like that? Caught your eye then. Careful. Most of my wares can take an eye right out. <laughs> Trade's booming. Folk are scared. And better to be scared and armed than scared and empty-handed, I always say. Welcome back to enjoy our unmatched selection. Is it dead? Oh, please tell Cled that it's dead. Oh, that's a dead red cap, all right. Ugly bastards. It killed itself with no hesitation. Why would it do such a thing? It was crying, saying Ethel was dying. Could it be? Is our tormentor gone? 
Is Ethel finally dead? Well, I'll bloody be. Should have known if anyone was gonna save the day, it'd be you. Ah, oh, the gang said they'd seen you. Glad you made sure Ethel got what's coming. Good. I'm only sad I couldn't see it myself. With Ethel gone, maybe I'll finally sleep in peace. Thanks. From me and the little one. <laughs>